Good Saturday morning. I am here in our little teeny tiny camp. <laughs> um, we're actually I'm hanging out here in um, in the basement with I'm setting up a little studio here. Hi. Um, setting up a little studio area here in our basement <laughs> and um, I'm unpacking slowly so I figured I also need to practice this morning hello hi guys and so I figured I'll just go live and see how everyone's doing today I hope you all are doing well please type in the chat where you're from I always love to see where people are coming from I'm coming from upstate New York live from a basement um, little area that is under construction and I'm trying to set up a spot where I can paint and hang out um, and so yeah um, today I'm just unpacking a little bit here and I'm probably going to be doing some you know doodles Okay, so Victory Hughes, India, coming from India. I love your work. Thank you. That is so kind of you. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. My studio is moving to the basement, too. <laughs> I'm not alone. Yay. Okay, Nam Tiar is from Spain. Hi. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, I'm unpacking slowly here in the basement. We have um, this little camp, for those of you who joined me, we have this little camp that we rent out. And on the weekends, my family comes and we clean it before we have next guests. So, um, yeah, so I have been trying to, it's hard to find a spot to cons consistently paint when you have to, like, pack everything away because people are coming to rent the place. So I am trying to find a spot where I can just paint where the noise won't be too loud but I'll show you where I'm at a little bit which brand watercolor oh yeah these are um, these are Holbein I'll talk more about them in a second um, let me just show you where I'm at I'm in the basement there's this lake and as you can see Here's the side of the basement here. Concrete. <laughs> Concrete and insulation. So we're nice and warm here in the winter. But um, right now it's kind of super warm, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so anyway. Hope you guys had your coffee. I'm on my second cup. And I'm going to get going here in a second. These are... Thank you. Um, yeah, it's exciting. I love working here, and it's my constant source of inspiration. I love looking at the lake and just painting. So yeah, um, these are Holbein watercolor paints, and I got these little... I like to keep them in little half pans like this, just squeeze them out, and then use the pans so then I can take it with me wherever I go. Um, and the little metal pans open up just like so and usually I mean other people use these as palettes I tend to use them I, I don't tend to use it like that I just you typically just like it loose like this and then I have these other paints which I have had Wow I would say since 2015 maybe 2014 these paints have lasted so long I can't even tell you they are just really really great um, these are called mission paint and I don't have the box here but um, I will tag them when I post this video because these paints are really they're not expensive for the amount of paints that you get I think they are 
you get 24 of these tubes that last like for a really really long time um, it's mission paints mission gold paints and I just when I'm working it just depends on what I'm feeling like I just put them right on top of each other like that or I move them around and then recently I just discovered these um watercolor paints um or pff, watercolor journal from Strathmore um victory hues yes you've he heard of the mission yeah they're great i i really like them i mean look i've had these for like i said 2015 and um they're still super juicy they're still super luscious the paints are just really really good and i'll show you i'm gonna paint something and you'll see you'll see how it looks i mean the whole binds are great too they're just a little bit more expensive hi from argentina hello um but these i don't know i just i rediscovered them from my art supply box and i am in love oh by the way do not like maybe this week Go through your art supply boxes. Go through your art supply stash. You might find something cool that you haven't seen for a long time. Hello from Japan. Oh my goodness. Hi. From the Philippines. Yay. Hello. I'm from the Philippines. I was born in the Philippines. Um, I came to America when I was 12 and had to learn how to speak English by watching Sesame Street. So, <laughs> so Sesame Street is great. Yeah, hi. Um, hi from Chile. Hello. So glad you guys could join me. So I'm talking about these Strathmore watercolor sketch paper. It says watercolor and sketch paper. Oh, oh. this totally, I, I understand now. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. I have been, like, like I said, I was watching a lot of Sesame Street and I, I'm still, I feel like I still don't know fully how to speak English very well. So sometimes I have to ask my kids and my husband how to say things, but yeah, I'm trying. Um, hello from Brazil. Hi guys. Nice to have you here. Yeah. So when I got the sketchbook, I was wondering from Avila. Cool. I was wondering why there were like extra pages. In between look at this it's like you open one page and it's very light and then the next page is watercolor paper one page very light oh this is by the way is um, weird world number oh man 29 which I have not been able to finish yet so I'm hoping to do that this weekend and then watercolor paper. So I was like, why did they do that? Why is there one in between? Are they trying to help protect the artwork? But what it is, is, see, this is my problem. I never read things. It says watercolor and sketch. So one is to sketch on and one is to, that makes total sense. I didn't even know. Okay, I'm learning new things. So this is to sketch stuff on. And as you can see, I've already been messing around with it. Nam TR says, love your paints. Thank you. Um, and this one is from a morning practice, which I posted on my Instagram. And also I posted it in YouTube because Instagram does this thing where you can only post a video that's like up to 15 minutes long and then they cut it off so if you are watching and it automatically cuts off just go back to um just look up my youtube channel the link is in the bio and it will show you the whole video um thank you so much it yeah it, it's just you know like messing around and playing with paints but yeah this is my new sketchbook that I am carrying around with me. And then this one is that giant sketchbook. It's one sketchbook that we like stuck together. So it's attached, we glued it together. Um, my husband helped me out with that. And 
I don't know. Sometimes I'm afraid of the first page, so I just kind of try some paints out on the side. But I wanted to show you these mission mission paints. They are so luscious. I mean, okay, let me see. Oh, by the way, on one of my videos, I was like freaking out a little bit because I could not find my favorite brush. And I had it here all along in the basement. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so you're going to see. I don't even know what the numbers. I'm usually pretty good at writing down what these things are. But sometimes I forget to do so. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? This is a really pretty blue. Look at that. I'll try to zoom in. Or, yeah. It's a super pretty blue. It's not very expensive, like I said. I'll swatch it for you. This is the... And I'll get the box, too. I don't have it here downstairs with me in the basement. But when I get it, or when I post the video at some point, I will definitely put it on there. Oh. Look at this. I mean, like, I've had this set for so long. And the paint, I mean, they are just luscious. This is the purple. Oh, man. It, it kind of inspires me. Whenever I do stuff like this, it, it makes me want to just paint something. That's the Opera Pink, which I tend to use a lot. Um, this one I don't think is from that set, actually. Yeah. Oh, maybe it is. I'll have to check. I mean, look at that. So this was my very first set that I got a long, long, long time ago. Sapin's illustration says the blue... Is fashion trend right now ooh we're on fashion guys we're on trend look at that red I mean so good oh okay so I think what I'm gonna do see what happened to me this morning is I was kind of like not feeling like painting at all like I just did not want to paint and that's not good if you're trying to do a daily practice, but that's what happens sometimes. So I just took out some stuff that was in a cup. Let me see here. Some art supplies in a cup, emptied it out, and then found or like found some really cool tools. Like look at this. I'd forgotten about these brushes from our walk. And so I'm going to try that. And then I forgot about these paints until just the other day. And then I took them out and I was just like, how did I forget about these? They're so fun. Yeah, so these are the Mission Gold Paints. And I'll write that down. I can't, I can never remember the spelling. So I'll just tag it. It comes with 24 different kinds Oh, look at that brown. I don't always use these, but the browns, but sometimes, did I already do that? I can't remember. I'm on my second cup of coffee, and I feel like, ooh, Dana, hi Dana, ever paint with a mushroom that you forage for? You know what, Dana? Number one, good to see you here. Number two, I need to do that. I usually just, um, I, when we go foraging, we eat the mushrooms, the ones that are safe to eat. And the ones that are not safe to eat, the boys end up dissecting and doing mushroom prints with. And by that time, I cannot paint with them anymore. But good to see you here, Dana. We haven't Dana. done that in a while. Yeah, we haven't done that in a while. Seth is here with me chilling. <laughs> all right okay so these are the mission paints that i am in love with right now and i'm gonna paint with them all right so let's see 
Should we let it dry? It's going to take a while to dry. Um, the other day I also did a pressed, a pressed flower painting, flowers from, I pressed a bunch and then I also bought some from Amazon. And so that's that messing around one. Um, let's see. Here's another one from the pressed flowers from the other day. And this one is from the Painting with Joy group that we do every third Wednesday. It's a free group that you can join. The link is in my bio. Um, we just get together and we paint and for an hour. And then the last time we just did landscapes, which were so fun. I always feel like I'm behind or like I'm out of practice. And then we get together and we paint and I'm like, oh, yeah. I can still do this yeah so this is what we did so yeah if you're free every third Wednesday you can join us um, link is in the bio it's called painting with joy and it's a lot of fun I think this month um, in July I think it's July 21st we're gonna be doing an artist study one of my favorite artists in the world um, yeah join please um, Matisse, so we'll be doing that, and I haven't told everybody yet, but I think we're going to be doing that for the upcoming Painting with Joy. All right, I'm just trying to find an empty page. This one was from the other day when we messed around. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Where do I want to... I feel like I'm wasting a lot of areas, but that's okay. All right, paint today. And I'll use these mission paints because they're really, really fun. All right, I don't have my Legos with me today, so I will use, do I have my Legos? I do have my Legos. They're actually not mine. They're Seth, who's my son. I steal them. I, I steal them from him all the time. Um, so, yeah. I'm feeling like a landscape. There's a landscape in front of me. And so, Legos are great. Use them if you can. Just making little boxes here. Which is my favorite way. So then the full page is not so scary. And maybe I'll paint the lake today. Yeah. So I'll start off with a watercolor pencil. And the watercolor pencil is Spectrum Aqua Blend Pine Green. And usually when I use this, I just dip it right in there. Right in the paint. Okay. So, here we go. Just making marks. Yeah, Lego is great. I love them so much. The sky's kind of gray today, so I'm going to take a gray. I was going to use the Mission, but Mission doesn't have gray on my palette. We have a little dog, a puppy. And his hair gets everywhere. So I'm trying to move it. All right. Am I done? <laughs> uh, oh, man. Look at that green. Oh. Wow. I, don't, I feel like I don't even have to do much. Look at that green. It's already doing... That's the thing. Sometimes you just have to let the brush do it for you. I'm going to try to zoom in. Can I do that? Oh, yeah, I can. The brush is doing the work. The water is moving along. Oh, I love that. It's almost reminding me of the trees that are out, are out in front of me. And the water, let's see. Let's do that in like a light blue. Sometimes I just mix right on the side here. So if you have paints, don't be afraid to do that. I 
I feel like I'm done. Am I done? That feels good. But I can't just leave things be. I always have to add a tiny bit more. So I'm going to use a Prismacolor cool gray and just make some marks. Oh, wow. I love how the, the cool thing about watercolor and mixing the media is when you mix them, you get like these little magic moments that are just, that are just fun. You know, it's just inspiring. It makes me want to just keep going. Like I said earlier today, I just didn't feel like I wanted to paint anything. So I got my supplies look through the art supplies and then just like checked and you know to see what's in there and I found weird brushes I found new paints that I haven't used in a while and now it's like encouraging me to keep going to paint so yeah I encourage you to look through your stash like you might have art supplies that you've forgotten about I do that all the time forget things oh oh man I think my light is it too bright I'm just gonna go like this all right so yeah just doing some little weird landscapes inspired by the lake in front of me and any extra noises you might hear in the background, my son is hanging out, chilling with me in the office here. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so now I'd like to try to add using this weird brush. So usually, it's not a weird brush, it's just a nature brush. Got it from nature. This is a super black. It's probably going to make a mess, guys, but who knows? It's a free brush that Seth found for me while we were on a walk. And we just taped it up. And I mean, the marks it makes. It's almost like water already. Look at that. And it's just sticks. So yeah, go outside for a walk and, and grab some sticks. They're great. So what I'm going to do is maybe I'll add it to the here and just let them dance. Ooh, they're dancing. I love it when paints dance. I can't dance very well, but when paints dance, I'll just say they do the dancing for me. Just making weird, weird marks. All right, close up the ink and then see it's all so wet. Put it to the side. What you could do, Rena says, hi, Joy. Hi, thanks for joining me. Look at that. See, and then you put the brush. Yeah. Okay, thanks, buddy. You, ah. Uh, I can't I can't even describe it guys. It's just like I the only thing I can think of is magic Like I'm barely touching it with water the ink and it's like doing all the work So yeah I'm just doing that's kind of like a fun little landscape Look at that Let's see, do I have any, I don't have any tissues, so all I have is a wet wipe here to wipe my hands with. So I'm going to use that. Just make some blotting marks. I mean, I feel like that's done. But I always like have to add a little tiny bit more. Maybe a green, oh, that's a brown. I accidentally, <laughs> I was going to do a green, but I accidentally picked the brown. 
Rena's asking how I am. I am doing great. I am feeling better now that I got these paints out. Oh, and I'm just kind of messing around with some abstract landscapes. I also love it when the brush does this dry brushing thing where it like breaks. Color Anglia says beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, just, you know, messing around. When it breaks, I, I really love it. I love it when um, it does that dry brush thing. You know what I mean? Like when it does that, I feel like it's just, uh, it's one of my favorites. Anyway, thank you for hanging out with me today. I'll put the links of everything we talked about when I post this. Not the links. I will mention them all. I love this green. I know I love it too. Let me see the name of it. It's um, a Mission W536. It's really, really fun. Um, but yeah, I will put the information for you. I'm just going to keep messing around here, but Thank you again for joining me. Ooh, that's nice too. Um, yeah, I hope you guys get outside, pick some, pick some branches, um, wrap them up in masking tape, and then use them for brushes. Look at that. I mean, like, also Seth found these twigs. Those are fun like too. The pine thing. Yeah, pine needles. Um, put them together and use them as a a brush. Okay, so get outside, do some walks if you can. If um, oh, look at that! I can't, I can't stop. I, it's very hard to stop once you get going. So try that out. They're really fun. It helps you let go just like watercolor does because you can't control it. Let go and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you again. Have a great day. Bye.